Established as an independent country in 2006, the small Balkan nation of Montenegro is quickly becoming a popular travel destination. Gorgeous beaches, verdant mountains, and postcard-perfect historic towns draw an increasing number of visitors every year. Add a mild Mediterranean climate into the mix, toss in opportunities for active pursuits ranging from mountain biking to whitewater rafting, and it's no wonder that tourism is now the driving force behind Montenegro's growing economy. Here's a look at the best places to visit in Montenegro. Number 10. Hersik Novi At the entrance of Kotor Bay in Hersik Novi, which translates as New Castle, Hersik Novi is located right at the foot of Mount Orgen, and it is a scenic, historic, but pristine alternative to some of the larger coastal cities in the region. The city dates back to the 14th century, and in that time, empires and cultures have inundated and left reminders of their presence. Between the 15th and 18th centuries, the area was known as Castle Nuovo, and it was passed through the hands of the Ottoman Empire, the Albania Veneta, and even the Republic of Venice. Number 9. Lake Skadar As the largest lake in the Balkans, Lake Skadar sprawls across both the Montenegrin and Albanian borders. This long, snake-shaped lake flows through lush valleys, steep mountains, and even around floating islands. It's also one of the country's biggest nesting grounds for birds. There are over 280 different species that call Lake Skadar home, including the Dalmatian pelican and the Great Crested Grebe. The best time for birdwatching is from late spring to autumn. However, you'll still be able to enjoy a plethora of outdoor activities at any time of the year. Number 8. Sveti Stefan You've probably seen photos of Sveti Stefan plastered all over your Instagram feed. This charming islet is actually a five-star resort, situated on the Adriatic coast along the Budva Riviera. A narrow isthmus connects it with the mainland. Even if you don't have the cash to splurge on one of their 50 rooms or cottages, you can still marvel at the Sveti Stefan from the two pebble beaches on either side of the isthmus. The bright orange roofs of the resort surrounded by the shimmering blue waters are arguably some of the most iconic symbols of Montenegro. Number 7. Mount Lovschen One of the most striking natural features in Montenegro, soaring Mount Lovschen is capped by two mammoth peaks of granite. Part of a national park, Mount Lovschen inspired Montenegro's name and is a symbol of national pride. 
Climbs to the top of the mountain offer panoramic vistas of the fortified city of Kotor, surrounding hills, and the Bay of Kotor. With its circular viewing platform, the nearby Niegos Mausoleum is a destination for sightseers as well as for those who want to pay their respects to the poet and philosopher buried there. Number 6. Setinja Founded in the 15th century, Setinja is best known for the many European embassies built when the city served as Montenegro's capital. During the late 19th and early 20th centuries, the town's inland valley location at the edge of the Ottoman Empire made it a strategic spot for diplomacy. Today, the elegant mansions constructed in the continental architectural style have been converted into museums, academies, and administrative buildings. Other interesting sites include the 15th century Vla Church, with its fence made from Ottoman rifles, and the Setinja Monastery, with its collection of early Christian era relics. Number 5. Ostrog Monastery Situated high up in a giant rock, the Ostrog Monastery is the country's most unusual architectural site and a major Christian pilgrimage destination. The entire monastery was carved out of a cave in a nearly vertical mountain cliff with only the whitewashed facade left visible. Built in the 17th century as a refuge against the Ottoman Empire, it houses the remains of its founder who was sainted after his death in 1671. The monastery includes two inner cave churches, ornamented by frescoes, some of which were painted directly on the rock walls. Number 4. Perast Located to the northwest of Kotor and sharing the same gorgeous fjord-like bay, Pretty Perast is a small town notable for its stone-crafted villas and historic churches. Two of the city's picturesque chapels are situated on tiny islets, Our Lady of the Rocks and St. George. Back on shore, the Church of St. Nicola is worth a visit for the pleasant views that a climb up to the belfry offers of the town and bay. While there's no beach on this bayfront city, the stone jetties along the waterfront are popular places for sunbathing and relaxing. Number 3. Dermator National Park Situated in the Dinaric Alps, the thickly forested Dermator National Park is a paradise for nature lovers and outdoor enthusiasts. The park includes the high-altitude peaks of the Dermator Massif, 18 glacier lakes, and the Terra River, home to the world's second deepest gorge. Skiing and snowboarding are the main activities in winter, while whitewater rafting, camping, and hiking attract visitors in the warm weather season. The park's wildlife includes wild boars, brown bears, and the most varieties of butterflies found anywhere in Europe.
Number 2. Budva Located on the center point of Montenegro's coastline, Budva boasts a picturesque old town, an abundance of beaches, and several important cultural institutions. Dating back over 2,500 years, it's one of the oldest preserved villages in the country. It's the city's vibrant nightlife, however, that makes Budva the most popular place to visit in Montenegro. By night, revelers crowd the city's many bars, clubs, and restaurants, and then spend the day relaxing at one of the many beaches in the region. Number 1. Kotor Considered one of the best-preserved medieval towns on the Adriatic coast, the fortified town of Kotor is tucked against the steep mountains surrounding the deep channels of the Bay of Kotor. While Kotor's architecture reflects the various empires that ruled over the region, it is best known for its Venetian-flavored old town, which is dominated by the 12th-century cathedral. The church's carved stone altar is an exquisite example of the stonemasonry skills KOTOR was known for in the Middle Ages. Treks up the upper town walls to KOTOR's hilltop fortress reward hardy hikers with breathtaking views of the city and deep water bay. 